What is going on everybody? I hope everyone is doing well. Now time for the next project. We are not stopping, we are continuing. Yes, it's still me in the same attire as the last video, but that's because we're trying to push this boat out onto the water so that we, we can have summer fun. This project, we're actually gonna put the hydrofoil wings on this motor. I've already done this on my old previous motor, on the force motor, and it was a huge difference, especially right onto the get up and the hole shot, getting out of the hole. Massive difference, massive difference. It's been like, what, two years now? Two, th no, more. It's been four years since I've been running without wings. What is going on with me? Anyways, that is, I'm gonna end that today. Let's install this and uh, it's super simple. So this is gonna probably be a short video. All right, let's get into it. I had one of my lights burn out. Ugh. Anyways, okay, let's turn on the other ones. Ta-da! All right, there it is. Super easy unboxing. I don't even really need to unbox much. This is the wing. I ended up getting the gray because it was cheaper. Okay, I'm sort of cheaping out. But dang it, things are so expensive lately. It is unbelievable. Anyways, as you can see, this is for 40 plus horsepower, which is going to work for our motor. Our motor is a 60 horse. We're going to drill into the cavitation plate, four holes, one, two, three, and four. And we come with the hardware and this is going to look super nice. So they do have three colors. They have the black, the white, and the gray and the gray and uh we'll keep it as that uh, it would have been nice to have the black but that's fine uh they do have a a newer style newer version but that is way heck more expensive i ended up getting the original which is now called the senior sting ray senior classic series that's what we got all right can i open this with one hand oh oh maybe oh nice it's all one piece as you can see then let's get at our hardware Four screws, four washers, four nuts. These are nylocks, so once you tighten them, they stay tight. So we don't need to add any uh, thread uh, thread locker. Oh yeah, here. Okay, so rubber washers. Yeah, okay. Tools needed. Phillips screwdriver. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. The big one, maybe. Yeah, it's the big one. So this is a number number three Phillips. Quarter inch. All right, I love it when things are that easy. All right, so their bolts are not all the same length. I'm assuming this could have been at the back if you had a thicker plate and then in the front, but then that one is a little bit taller too. So I don't know. I can always take it out, cut it down, but really it doesn't really bother me. That's so nice. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, think about subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every we release a new video. Until the next time, stay safe, and who knows, maybe we'll see you out there.